Hey guys, Steve Loomis, father, daughter, honey, and I'm just doing a review of this economy uncapping tank by Hilco. Here you can see the uncapping tank. This is the cappings from two supers, so just 18 frames. With this setup, they have this bar with this uh, sharp pin, and I don't have it attached, but you get these little clips that you put through holes. Uh, and seal it down to, to hold it down tight. This is just a foundation frame, but this is just for an example. What they want you to do is set it on here, you know, uncap, uncap, however you do, cut off the capping, spin it around, and then uncap that way. And just hold it over the tank the whole time. Now the problem that you run into with this, because it's the small economy size one, is that there's really no way, you know, I mean, I can try and balance the frames here or something like that, but you can imagine I get one frame and I end up knocking it over and I'm leaking honey over there. You know, you could kind of maybe stack them in here a little bit, set them up against, honestly, the cappings even hold them up a little bit, something like that. But there's no, you know, it's not even where this is set up the holes are right there you know you can't even fit a medium medium frame in here so the point of an un uncapping tank for me is that you can continue to uncap while your extractor is going and this really you know doesn't help me out a whole lot in that capacity it catches the cappings it catches the leaks uh, into a container underneath here. You can see that it's got the, the little holes in there and it does a good job. You can see that there's some honey that's, that's caught in the bottom there. So there's a little bit, you can see it on the edge there. And then there is the honey gate on the front. So you can tip it up and then, you know, put it over your strainer and strain it that way. But it doesn't really alleviate that backlog uh, for me as far as when you have your extractor running. For me, it's an 18 frame. And, you know, maybe you think I'm silly. I have an 18 frame extractor and I go with this uh, uncapping tank. Fair enough. I just don't, truly don't have the, the room you know, I'm in my third stall of my garage right now, and I don't have the room for a bigger uncapping tank, so that's why I went with this one. But in reviewing it, it doesn't alleviate that backup where you're just sitting waiting for the extractor to finish, where you could be continuing to uncap more frames and get closer to another 18 frames done so that I can swap them out real quick and keep that process going. Well, you can see I could have two or three ready to go when I'm ready to pull the empty frames out of the extractor. And then the rest of the time, I still have to do it one by one to fill the extractor up. So a one step up for me, I guess, from like a five gallon bucket, which is what I did before, which is if you see the first video I ever did about the Hilco Ultramax 18 frame extractor, we were doing, we were uncapping over a five gallon bucket and it worked just fine. It worked. Uh, almost as good as this and all you'd have to do is dump the cappings uh, with the honey into your strainer and you would get kind of the same result so for for 55 60 bucks i'm not saying that it's bad it just doesn't alleviate that backlog that an uncapping tank really should thanks for watching steve lomas father daughter honey